Okay, so we started the recording for today's class, but none of the materials are in, at hand, so I'll be putting out the materials. Sir, you have wallpaper as a meta. It was a secret superstar meta, na? Hi, hi. Yes. Yeah. Is cute, na? Yes, yeah, sir, cute. I know, right? <laughs> 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 Oh, yes, sir, bola na star will be star. Star will be Faisal, sir. The typical Faisal star. Once he's good, he's too good. He's not available, not available. Put your... Kuchilam. 5054, 5054. Sir, what is it? It's a name. 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 She should be your student. Yeah, that would be weird in so many levels. That would have been so much distraction. Legends take a book. Sir, you would have been a bigger legend. I'm going to Thamar by Grafus, back over waves. I mean, it's stupid. Sir, I'm going to take a mini microphone at the for a mini speaker. I have two speakers uh, on the on the two sides of my uh, of my PC uh, the monitor. You know. Nah. Oh, I mean, I mean, speaker. Did you hear the voice? I mean, to come, can I get some light? Can I light the camera? Okay, by the way, I'm just flying this. Sorry. Abba. Pick them. Pick them. Sorry. Camera down. Correct. I don't have a camera. Sir, I'm not sure. Can we? But I think I can show you this because I shared this picture with someone. Because I was asked to share with someone. Then he. Wow, got clean it is a This is called protection. Yes, of course. I, I just leveled up, level two. So <laughs> 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 uh, so let's start the class. Um, the problem that I we I I, I would I, say, I I would like to discuss for today's class. The first problem that I'd like to discuss is how to draw this diagram. Okay, sir. I diagram the মানে একটা 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 কি একটা অ্যাসপেক্ট বুঝাবো তারপরে তোমাদেরকে এই ডায়াগ্রাম নিয়ে আলাপ করতেছি ফেডারেল বইটা হাতে নাও ওই টার্ন আপ দা বুক অন পেজ নাম্বার আর আর আচ্ছা আর নিচের কোন টার্ন আপ দা বুক অন পেজ নাম্বার 198 198 Take a look at there. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
all similar particles or similar wave positions of a wave. For example, uh, let's say if in a ripple tank, in a ripple tank, whenever we use uh, a flat bar as a dipper, it produces uh, fat waves. For example, what is shown in both of these figures for uh, reflection and refraction, that the incoming waves are flat waves. I mean, not a point dipper. Rather, we have a, we have a, a rectangular dipper, which is producing uh, uh, flat waves in front. You can see, you see over here that we have drawn some blue lines to represent the incoming waves. Now, what do we mean by these blue lines? Do these blue lines, can these blue lines be ever physically found on the water waves? Can we actually look and ever found, find these kind of blue lines? That answer is a solid no. What we do is because we are now looking at the medium from the top, so we are having a, uh, we are having a top view. So we cannot essentially represent the particles vibration because you need to understand that water wave is a transverse wave. So the particles are moving up and down in the, uh, up and down or that is perpendicular to the direction of the wave. So for, if you look, if you're looking from the top and looking down onto water particles, water particles are practically vibrating along your view, along your vision line. You are looking vertically down, water particle, uh, the, the, the motion, uh, the oscillation alignment of the water particles is also vertical. So because of these two things being parallel, you in a, for it for a top view, you cannot essentially represent the wave by means of the positions of the water water molecules. That's simply not going to work out. Okay, so how do we represent the waves for a position like that? That that's where the wave fronts come in. For a position for a situation like that, we draw lines joining all the. Uh, preferably uh, all the similar points. Typically, these lines that we draw are represent the image, uh, image one, Im one imaginary line drawn through all the consecutive crests. For example, uh, in this figure, all these blue lines represent a sick, uh, entire uh, entire sequence of crests. The next blue line represent another crest. The next blue line represent another crest. So typically, all of, uh, so all of these lines represent crests, which means from one crest to another crest, or in other words, from one wavefront to another wavefront, the linear distance or physical distance is called uh, wavelength. That's the whole idea. So by using the wavefront, we can represent the wave from, uh, for, a, for a top view where the particle uh, uh, displacement cannot be very easily represented. Now, one of the, uh, the other idea that I need, you need to tell you, for example, in this figure, you have a look, uh, have, have a look at the uh, lecture now, video lecture. In this figure, you can see that the incoming wavefronts are labeled as black lines. So you have to assume that uh, for solid lines, these are all solid lines, these, dots, these lines represent the crest positions. Now, if you wonder that, well, is the wave only made from crest? Is there no troughs? Well, that's, that's, uh, that's the question that you should, can be, should be able to answer yourselves. Yeah, as long as there is a wave, there is always a series of uh, alternate series of crests and troughs. Only crests are not a wave. Alternation between crest and trough is basically what you call a wave. That essentially entail that between every two, every two wavefront of crests, there should be a wavefront of troughs, which usually is not drawn because it is taken for granted. Which what I'm trying to mean is that this is an entire, uh, let me just take this picture to the paint it so that I can discuss it uh, more conveniently. So what I need you to understand that this is a, this is a continuous sequence of, uh, of crests. This is another continuous sequence of crests. This is another serial line of crests. So between these two crests, exactly at the midpoint, we would have one, what? Troughs. One trough. So ideally that trough is not drawn, but in some cases that trough might, might, might be drawn. And if the trough is drawn, you will see that line usually, usually represent as a dotted line. So I'm gonna try to draw a dotted line over here and I can give you some view, visualization that how if the trough lines are represented, which in many cases they are not, but if they ever show up, how they might look like. So I'm going to trough line with the body. That should be have the exact same length as that one. So it actually, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut So it can act at, uh, so tough line to the Aki, the tough line will like a figure. So you should be able to uh, very clearly distinguish between uh, crest lines and the trough lines. All of these straight lines, these lines are the crest wave front. This is a trough wave front. All of them are wave front. Every single straight line that you see, they are wave front, but the distance, the physical distance between two similar wave front is what you call one lambda. What I mean 
is that a distance to go about to one lambda from crest to crest it will one lambda have it in the same way you can take a bundle tough to tough of you one lambda have it so a it also will find the basic idea a is a buzzer chicken yes sir yes sir that's a sorry how to do this follow sir i'm a region is a confusion jam a can away from ducky you mentioned something about the vibrations being in level to our eyesight when we look at them from the top we also try to repeat put the problem please these water molecules are moving up and down which i cannot represent in this figure in terms of the particle position if yes, you sir. look at this look at this look at this uh, let's say con container on the horizontal side from the horizontal side for example anything if we look from here we might as well be able to represent the water waves uh, being up and down because we can actually show that the shape of the water wave might be uh, might be like this uh, might be like uh, like this we can show the in the position of the water molecules at, at an instance so here yes, you can very easily represent a wave but these particles are all going up and down so whenever we are looking at this figure from the top the water particles are mo moving along your view, 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 view orientation so how could you possibly represent a particle that is uh, at place position or at a tough position considering that all the molecules are very small very tiny so you cannot represent necessarily show this up and down position over here by any information of individual displacement that's why we use that you uh, we use this wavefront idea to represent the existence of the waves which essentially also incorporate the wavelength information within the figure by itself yes sir Ujjaji, thanks beautiful so this is coming over here acha ami ei figure ta initially mujhe bolbo karon amar ekhane kichu habijay hoyeche somoshya ami abar nite parbo what i want you to look at the book figure once again uh, the refraction figure is really well drawn that is a very good good figure i like this figure they are showing the reduction of wavelength and they are also showing the change of angle over here which is perfectly good like i have told you in the earlier class that for a ripple tank shallow means slow and the other means other which means deeper means faster so you can remember by the shallow slow spelling similarity one of the difficult thing that the students do come across is that because in the book this uh, have a look at the figure for the reflection reflection figure that to calcaro what you can see that they have placed a barrier in the pathway of the incoming waves which are the blue waves and they after reflection the blue uh, the waves are getting reflected which are represented by red dotted lines and they are reflected vertically downwards now the problem that happens because this bar barrier was placed at a 45 degree angle with the incoming wave direction the reflection happened at a total of 90 degree this figure looks pretty convenient to draw and many times students believe that this is the only way the waves are going to be reflected which is highly wrong which is highly wrong let me tell you why because one of the key properties of reflection of a wave is that incident angle should be equals to what reflected angle reflection angle. reflection angle incident angle should be equal to reflected angle so if this barrier is not placed at a 45 degree angle for example let's see in a case like this in because of in, in a situation like this we cannot go for that we do not have that privilege so ekhon amra tale jinish ni kibhabe kaaj korbo seta ni ami ektu alap korteche uh, i'll be taking this picture into paint so that i can take help of protector uh, let me just show you how this is going to work out koi uh, gelo eta to ors the normal and for the normal ekhon i bujhaben uh bujhano je na ekhon dorkar nai the shallow water mane na less dense না শ্যালো ওয়াটার মানে লেস ডেন্স না ফর ওয়াটার ইউ হ্যাভ টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্যাট দ্য বোথ অফ দ্য মিডিয়াম আর ওয়াটার বাট দ্য ভেরি বাট দ্য প্রপার্টি ডিফারেন্স দ্যাট ইজ কোয়ারজিং ফর দ্য রিপল ট্যাঙ্ক ওয়ান ইজ ডিপার ওয়ান ইজ শ্যালোয়ার বাট দে আর বোথ এস টু ও এট দ্য সেম টেম্পারেচার সো ইউ ক্যান নট সে দে আর লেস ডেন্স অর মোর ডেন্স বাট ইউ ক্যান সে দ্যাট ওয়াটার উইল ট্রাভেল স্লোলি ইন দ্য শ্যালো ওয়াটার এন্ড ফাস্টার ইন দ্য ডিপার ওয়াটার দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান সে এই জন্য টোর তো নরমাল হয় ইয়েস Okay, so let me help you with this one. I, I think I can I can get I can go to paint it 3D. Okay, uh, so yes, we have this picture. Why do I not have more space? I don't have more space. I said, "Yes, I'm a eight to me a score." Don't worry. I'm a participant list. I mean, I'm a like this because I need this space over here. Uh, I cannot have the participant list blocked. So if you have any question, uh, please just voice up. I mean, I cannot see your raised hands for the time being. Or we cannot see the participant list either. You you okay. shouldn't be, but I it's it blocks a certain portion of my screen. Yes, Munay. Sir, so, I'm just doing it from token drawing. Because when horizontally, the vertically, the both put together, na. Yes, uh, that's the typical pro procedure. Yes. 
আর ওয়েভ ফ্রন্ট কি রিপ্রেজেন্ট করে প্রত্যেকটা ফেসের পার্টিকেল কে ইটস এ ইটস এ লাইন ইমাজিনারি লাইন জয়নিং থ্রু কনজুগেটিভ ক্রেস মানে হচ্ছে এই লাইনের মানে হুইচ मींस দ্যাট ওভার অন টপ অফ দিস লাইন উই হ্যাভ এ লট অফ ক্রেস ওভার হিয়ার সো দ্য এন্টার ওয়াটার মিডিয়াম ইজ স্লাইটলি কারভড আপওয়ার্ডস ইন দিস লোকেশন দে হ্যাভ এ হ্যাভ কারভড ডাউনওয়ার্ডস হাউ ইন দ্য ইন দিস ডিরেকশন and this they are once the water medium is once in curved upwards in this direction or in other words if i want to draw the side view of this of this thing that might as well look like this side view side view ta dekhte erokom hote pare ei je crest e maskhane hobe acha ekta trough abar ekhane ekta crest hobe abar maskhane hobe ekta trough abar ekta crest hobe erokom bujhar se ji sir acha so uh, because we cannot show this variation of heights of the water particles in the or distribution of the water particles from a top view we take help of the wave fronts okay so the point that i'm trying to make that there are two different ways to draw this figure i'm going to cover both of this uh, logic one by one the first thing that i'm going to show you is by the very basic idea of wave fronts one of the thing that you need to understand wave fronts are always perpendicular to the uh, to what to the uh, to the uh, to the incoming uh, to the energy or wave direction here this is the incoming wave direction which is horizontal and the wave fronts are all vertical this is also true for for curved waves as well if you have circular wave fronts for example if you have a look at on the on your book at page number let's say uh, on page number 195 have a look at there turn up a couple of pages page number 195 can you do you see figure 30.10 yes sir So what you can see over here that for the figure thirty point one zero we used a point dipper. This is what we call a point dipper, which is a single object, not a wide object, and we are producing circular waves. And the, the energy is dissipating out in radial direction. And we all know from geometry sense knowledge that a radius is always perpendicular to the uh, to the circle. That makes it that there is always an antiquity between the direction of the wave and the wave front. That will always be true. Whether the uh, whether the source is a point source uh, or the source is a uh, rectangular source, that doesn't matter. Wave direction is always perpendicular to the wave fronts, which means over here we do have a ninety degree. Okay, it can have a partially ninety degree thing. Act. Second thing that you need to understand is that as the wave comes in, it will be reflected off by producing equal angle with the with the with the with the with the with the with the, what, with the uh, barrier, normal, normal. Uh, barrier, and also normal both because. uh angle with normal plus angle with bar barrier essentially gives you 90 degree so i'm going i'm getting to this part uh this uh, piece uh, is there a way we can draw a straight, perfect straight line over here i don't think so do we have ruler i think i don't think we have ruler over here do we have ruler sir last 5 minute dhore ki aapne eta explain korlen je wave front Our the wave direction are always perpendicular, no matter the you shape. You can try two D objects there if you can find that line option. Right. Yeah, that's how I make it. Don't worry. So the first, so one of the things that I I personally prefer to teach the kids is that whenever you are trying to draw at the reflection for a situation like this, preferably choose one of the intersect point of the available waves onto the barrier. For example, here you could choose this one or this one or this one. Uh, I am gonna go for this one because in my opinion this is the halfway point. So the first thing is going to be that I, using my protractor or set square, you can use either of them. I'm going to draw a perfect horizontal line that should be away from this point. So this is this is my first step. Step number one, I'm going to label this with an arrow, representing that this is the incoming wave. These are the wave fronts. This is the incoming wave. First thing. The second thing I'm going to do using a protractor, I'm going to draw a normal at this point. So this normal. will always be normal with the surface or the barrier so this normal is producing a 90 degree with the surface over here this is the 90 degree not with the incoming wave so this is my step number 2 we first draw the incoming wave direction then we draw the normal then using your protractor you will measure how much angle is in between is over here this is the angle that we call angle of incidence or incident angle optical angles or wave angles are always measured from the normal they are never measured from the surface never means never So incident angle is the angle produced for between the incoming incoming wave direction and the normal on the surface. So this angle is the incident angle. So let's say we we can name this I. You don't have to name this I. Uh, then using your protractor on the right side, you have to draw the same equal amount of angle. So let me draw that with 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 green. 
So you are going to draw an equal angle over here with your protractor and complete this reflected direction. And you're gonna give an arrow over here as well. This is your step number three. A portion of Bujaga signal that was over. Yes, sir. Incoming direction, normal. Third point, repeat Kulben. Sir, I like very repeat Kulben. As a Kumbata Bujan, I will. I'm over the third number, sir. Third number, I would say we measure how much angle is over here by using a protractor. So you place your protractor with these two points and you measure how much angle is over here. Then you rotate your protector a little bit and then you can draw equal angle with this normal line onto the right side. And then you get this green line. So that way, so that this angle I and this angle R is R equal, I equals to R, so that we can get that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Conveniently, the key logic, remember the key logic. The logic was that waveforms are always perpendicular to the wave direction. Wave, so, wave direction or energy direction, however you put it. So it occurs in my opinion that we need to have uh, find out a uh, 90 degree. Now, how can I have an anti degree? Monogo, it also to our set square. Let's say I mean at a box. Aki, I check it. It has a monogo. It also another actor. It has another at a set square. Monogo to take a rectal line. Okay, economy. It a key copy code in your boss at the world. I'm a key. Is yellow good way? Yes. transparent <laughs> Then I don't know. The painted transparent us, but I need to tilt this thing by a certain angle. So I made a buddhi khata kuri, tale ohane niye jeta varbo. Mano koro eta kiri hoyse. Ah, We cannot phone silent with the police. See, and our parents are called the same. I made a caribou, Cadadia, receiver. Would I? Ha 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 I take a canoe clam, should I bolt the sea? But before that, what I would do, uh, I'm gonna get rid of this figure and I'm gonna bring back that figure. Paint it actually put a takama docker children. I'm already a two holy a two a clay huito. So uh, I might as well select select kotha, you know, crop. I mean, it is a two silk crew you have a hand together, Jano. Never mind. As I took Gola Hagalo, as a Samson, I'm a catchul. As a Ebon the Butsu Hawaii. Yes, sir. Step one, step two, step three. Then we are going to try to draw the reflected wavefronts with a set square 
and this is a 90 degree at the, of the set square. I'm set square. Take a, uh, the reason I have brought the set square in this orientation because I'll be using this orientation to draw, draw my waveform. So how am I gonna draw this? Let me show you. Transparent selection on Korase. So I'm gonna just select this whole thing, and you are gonna place your set square with one of the edge aligned with your reflected direction. Have a look like this. And then, then you'll be able to slide this thing conveniently. Do you see the sliding of information? So you can slide it along this line. That's how you're gonna put your set square. So if you put your set square at one of the side aligned with over here, every line that you draw along this side, they will be perfectly perpendicular on this green line. Do you agree? Daho. Sir, no problem, please. If you place one of the side of the set square, aligned with this green line, then the every line that you draw along this side, they will be perpendicular on the green line. Do you yes, agree sir. on this information? I mean, yes, they, don't have to, they don't have to form a yes, physical sir. 90 degree. Yes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna first do this, and then we're gonna draw a straight line from this point or in this direction. I'm gonna direction at a straight line, Agbo. Can we do that? Yes, sir. Okay, next, we're gonna, slide this set square down and bring this reflection point have a look black incoming wave a black wave taken across course this incoming black wave is crossing over here yes sir so we're gonna slide yes, this pass down so that we can we still maintain this alignment and bring this point over here and then we're gonna draw another another reflector wave front and we're gonna repeat this process for this point as over here so as you can see in this figure there are five different points of, of incident waves in the in this process we're gonna be able to draw three of them then comes a bit of a trouble that now you cannot essentially draw these these points because now we have what? There's a physical gap over here. Do you see that? It's a physical gap, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Equal distance and go Sorry. Equal oh, distance. If you draw parallel lines, they are sub they will be automatically automatically equidistant and parallel. Say square use right? automatically because of corresponding angles. Sir, uh, uh, wave front is size key aki hota be. Ki wave front? Wave front is size key aki hota be. Reflected wave front is size aki hota be na, but reflection aki se, whenever there is a reflection scenario, the reflected wave front should also represent the same wavelength, which means their gap, be, their gap between the reflected wave front should also be equal. Okay. As the incoming wave front. So because that because there is no medium change, so there shouldn't be any lambda variation or speed variation for that matter. Now, my the point that I was trying to make, we can easily draw in this procedure this one, we can draw this one, and we can also draw this one. Now, how are we gonna draw these two? Edu take a agma. Yes, sir. Edu take a shot with the now we have to uh, rotate the protector a little bit. Uh, put it on now. We can have to. We have to replace. Uh, I'm looking at a attack of our one of our one of them. I'm not accurate with the well. If you know how to draw accurately, then you can make mistakes. But if you don't know in the first place how to draw accurately, then that's the trouble. The Ujunami at the details of the Hatsi. Oh, but you can see, yes, sir. So you should know how to draw this accurately, and then you can essentially do some variation of the accuracy as per your convenience. As I made a size put this, don't worry. Uh, I, I, sh I, I believe I will be able to do this. Because I'm awesome. Agreed, sir. Maintain aspect ratio, so to. Percentage the I'm on a great economy, 75% convert. Can you tell me uh, road, but I'm Thank you, Oche. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to so that so now I can show you this more easily. Have a look. Up till now, we are using this one as a reference. Now we want to draw this point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna align it with this one. Check it out. Sir, 
দেখো নাও ইউ অ্যালাইন নাও আই এম ডুইং দ্য অ্যালাইনমেন্ট উইথ দ্য ইনসাইড লাইন এই যে देयर इज अ ट्रायंगुलर होल আই এম ডুইং দ্য গ্রিন লাইন অ্যালাইনমেন্ট উইথ দিস ইনসাইড লাইন সো দিস হ্যাজ কাম এ বিট ডাউন সো ইন দ্যাট কেস ইউ শুড বি এবল টু গেট দিস পয়েন্ট কনভিনিয়েন্টলি ইয়েস স্যার যদি ডিসটেন্সটা বেশি বড় হয় বা ছোট হয় ইন দ্যাট কেস ইউ হ্যাভ টু রোটेट দ্য প্রোটেক্টর প্রোটেক্টর রোটेट করা কা অনেক ইজি দাঁড়াও আমি আমি একটু চিন্তা করে বাই করে যে প্রোটেক্টরটা কোন দিকে রোটेट করলে কাজে দিবে সহজে আমাদের স্যার আরেক ভাবে করা যায় না যে সেট স্কয়ার এর একটা যে মার্কিং গুলো থাকে না যে কোন একটা মার্কিং কে গ্রিন লাইনের সাথে কোইনসাইড করে তারপর করি তাহলে সে চিন্তা করতে হলো না ইয়া দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান অলসো ডু মানে হচ্ছে এই এইগুলাকে এখানকার এখানকার যে সেন্টিমিটার যে লাইনগুলো থাকে ইউ অ্যালাইন অন দ্য অন দ্য অন দ্য সেন্টিমিটার লাইনস উইথ দ্য গ্রিন লাইন ও হ্যাঁ সাবি মিস মিস ভেরি গুড পয়েন্ট for example let's say there is a centimeter line over here that is long enough uh, there is another centimeter line uh, millimeter lines are little little centimeter lines are a bit a bit longer so if you use one of those as your reference as well then you can align your uh, align those centimeter lines over here and you can now draw uh, the same thing the key part of the important information that my the basic process of this whole thing is that you have to maintain an anti degree between the wave front and this green line that's all that is bujhte parse शर्टकाट But before I give you the shortcut, did this procedure more or less make sense? Did you get the logic behind it in the first place? Is this what I am going to tell you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, our today is something we are going to do. Our today is something we are going to do. So, I am going to take a look at this. Ah, ah, take a look at this. Our search will like this. So, that is. Let me copy the question one more time, and I'll show you the second way. Second way, the question is that we are going to take a look at the logic. The logic is very simple. one of the important bit that you really need to consider appreciate seta hocche ami acha ami ekhane ekta normal ekta figure rakhi let's say this is a certain surface of a reflector one incoming wave one incoming waves comes like this <coughs> falls onto the acha eta direction ta actually almost 40 degrees so one one incoming wave falls onto the surface like this so you draw the normal over here normal i i always prefer to draw the normals with dotted lines because they are not waves so we do know that if this is i in the process of reflection this should be also i i am not writing i because i am leaving i equals to r now acha ei line ta actually hoy na thik moto na ami ei line ta thik kore rakhi eta almost 45 degree hoye geche so Ah. Okay, better. Now, what I need you to understand: how much is the angle over here? How much is the ninety? Uh, is the uh, uh, is the green uh, orange angle? Sir, ninety degree. Ninety degree. Ninety degree. So, it is actually ninety minus i. It is actually ninety minus i. Yeah. true which essentially means the in the case of reflection the incoming wave makes equal angle with the normal vice versa they make equal angle with the surface as well do you agree on this part yes sir yes sir do you agree on this part acha ekhon ekta jinish khyal koro i'm going to re redraw this figure and draw some additional logic to you uh eta amar akar jonno actually मामन
একটু বোঝা যাচ্ছে কিনা দেখো সেম জিনিসটা আমরা রাখলাম নাও আই এম গোনা ট্রাই টু ড্র সাম ইনকামিং ওয়েভ ফ্রন্টস ইনকামিং ওয়েভ ফ্রন্টস ওয়েভ ফ্রন্টস আর গোনা বি পারপেন্ডিকুলার অন দা ইনকামিং ওয়েভ সো লেটস সে আই এম নট গোনা ড্র ফর দা হোল লেন্থ লেটস সে আই এম গোনা ড্র ওয়ান ওভার হিয়ার বাট আই আই শুড ট্রাই টু ড্র ইট কেয়ারফুলি সো দ্যাট দিস অ্যাঙ্গেলস আর অল ফোর অফ দিস অ্যাঙ্গেলস আর হাউ মাচ 90 ডিগ্রি ইচ ঠিক আছে এটা সো লেটস সে এটা হচ্ছে একটা অ্যালাইনমেন্ট আমি এই ফিগারটাকে কপি পেস্ট করব ওজন্য আমি এটাকে ওখানে নিয়ে গেলাম সো আই এম গোনা কপি দিস and amader already transparent selection dewa ache yes so uh, i can move this over let's say ekhane ekta wave front ekhane ar ekta wave front dui ta akar shomoy tumi random rakhte parbe ba third ta akar shomoy obosshoi ki korte hobe spacing ta equal kore rakhte hobe etai tumi ekhane rakhte parbe na atle marks kare dibe etai jomi ichhamote ekhane rakhte parbe na all the wave fronts should be equidistant from each other because that distance represents which quantity wave length ट <laughs> बेटर <laughs> I'm going to color this reflector with fronts with let's say different color, let's say sheet color. So this is the sheet color. No, so pink color. Pink. You want pink? Is that Sorry. pink? No. Yeah. Okay, you let's go for more. purple. Purple is good. Oops. <laughs> okay. Sir, you so could have become have more done. efficient right. by making this dotted line. Yes. So this is the incoming wave direction. This was the reflected wave direction. So this is happening now. Uh, what I needed to understand, try to understand. Have a look. I'm going to choose one of these triangle over here. Let's consider this triangle. This triangle. Let's consider this triangle. Have a look. Have a very good look at this triangle. This is the angle that the wave front makes with the surface. Right? Yes, sir. This is the angle that the wave makes with the normal. Do you all see that these two angles are supposed to be equal? Use your geometry sense. Yes, parallel. Not parallel. You can say they are both corresponding angles. They are parallel and quarter. No, they are they are they. No, sorry, sir. They are not corresponding angles. I will say they are both uh, complementary angle of this one. If you add these two, you are gonna get how much? Ninety. If you add these two, you are still gonna get ninety degree because this angle also happens to be how much? Nine. Do you see that? So both of the tick mark angles, they are going to be exactly equal to. Sir, sir, one more. Both this. I have both this. The total angle of a triangle is 180 degree, right? Mm -hmm. So and the wave fronts also make 90 degree onto the incoming wave direction. Wave direction and wave wave fronts are 90 degree. Yes. So that means which means this angle is 90 degree. Yes. Yes. So this was this this x plus tick cross plus tick equals 90 degree. And also for this triangle, T plus cos equals 90 degree. Oh, yes, so yes, sir. These two are supposed to be equal. Yes. So sir. they are not corresponding angle, neither they are alternate angle. They are complementary angle of this cross marked angle. So that's the description. I mean, bullet corresponding bullet fills. I'm complementary about the game. Are we clear on this one? Geometry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Everyone. Not really. Yes, sir. Repeat what you are doing, Mr. Yes, sir. Repeat for himself. To be very careful. Take a good look at the picture and try to use your brain before I tell you. Take some time. I can tell you, but that would not be permanent. Try to analyze the figure and ask yourself questions, and I, then, then, then I'll help you. Look at the figure. Try to get, try to get the idea. The statement that I made is that both of these tick mark angles are complementary angle of X. Then, 
that's why they are equal now if you don't can see if you still cannot see the logic let me write it this way mona karo hocche x plus t equals to 90 degree thik ache mona acha mene angle gula naam diye dei mona karo eta hocche angle x t ar eta mona karo hocche eta round eta eta mone eta mon chinno dilam star thik ache b b star so ekhane ei ei angle er jonno hocche x plus t equals to star ar etar jonno hocche x plus h g b g equals to 90 degree so logic tells us these two are should be equal right जिक this logic should also apply for this angle with this angles as well in the same logic just reflex just uh, reverse yes, incident angle is equal to the uh, angle of the uh, wave front with the surface similarly reflection angle is equal to the angle with the reflected wave fronts with the surface similar similar geometry ekhane chilo hocche etar sathe etake compare korchi ei dui ta equal that's why i can also compare these two so ei dui ta ultimately ki hocche equal hocche make sense Yes, sir. Now, if you wonder, at what time are you going to say? Yeah, I have two participants raised hand. I'll take questions from you. Just hold uh, hold on a bit. At what time are you going to say? I'm going to use this logic to go ahead and complete this figure. Have a look how. Other than going through this entire process of this drawing and set square and stuff, so you can do one more thing. What is that thing? You can draw normal, perfect normal at all of these incident points. Yes, sir. লেগ নরমাল হইছে অলমোস্ট হইছে না ফর কথা হ্যাঁ লেটস অ্যাজুম এটা নরমাল হইছে এটা আবার করতে গিয়ে আসলো your normal should not pass outside the barrier outside the boundary of the ripple tank uh, mine is are going off because i am drawing in a ms paint so you know what i'm saying now once you have drawn these normals you will see that all of these angles let me draw them with green all of these angles are exactly equal right yes sir have a look the reflection would happen and because of the reflection the wave is going to supposed to change its direction like that so the reflected wave fronts should have looked like this let me draw the reflected wave fronts over here with uh, with pink so this reflection wave front over here this is also the incoming wave front direction this reflected wave front direction should be like that so that there is an anti degree over here this one should be like that sorry like that this one should be like that this one should be like that and this one should be like that so the point that i'm trying to make that other than doing any mathematical drawing or any other jibber jabber you can simply draw an equal angle on this side let me draw that with blue and complete your reflector wave from and you can get full marks for this as well all that you have to ma make sure that this green and this blue angle is exactly equal to each other why does this work why does this logic work because that's what i explained over here that the angle that the reflected uh, wave front they're going to make with the surface are also going to be equal sir are the blue lines the wave reflected wave yes reflected wave fronts not reflected wave when yes, we say reflected wave we mean the drainage direction so you can also draw this one you can draw five per normal which is very simple প্রোটোটাইপ দিয়ে নরমাল আকার সবচেয়ে সহজ বুদ্ধি হচ্ছে এরকম আর এটা তোমাদেরকে আমি ক্লাসে অবশ্যই একবার দেখাইছি তারপর আরেকবার দেখাচ্ছি ইফ ইউ আর ট্রাই টু ড্র আ নরমাল ইউজিং এ প্রোটোটাইপ ফর एग्जांपल लेट्स সে ইউ আর ট্রাই টু ড্র দিস রেড লাইনস ইজিয়েস্ট ওয়ে ইউ পুট ইওর প্রোটোটাইপ ইন দিস ফ্যাশন পুট দা 90 ডিগ্রি উইথ দা উইথ দিস সারফেস এন্ড ইউ ক্যান ইউজ দা এজ অফ দা প্রোটোটাইপ টু ড্র আ নরমাল ভেরি ইজিলি ইজি ইউ জাস্ট স্লাইড বাই একটু একটু শেষ করি ইউসব একটু একটু স্লাইড করবা এন্ড ইউজিলি তুমি পুরো নরমাল আঁকতে পারবা 
and then to draw the reflector waveforms, you can simply draw one, measure one of the angle, and then just draw parallel lines with that lines from each of the point, and you are done with your figure. You don't have to go through all of these incident angle, reflection angle stuffs. For this question, this is going to work perfectly fine, but there is a catch. Catch I would say, if this question had an additional part, label the incident angle I and the reflection angle R. You do not have it over here. Do you have it over here? Yeah. No, you don't. The black lines are the incident in incoming wavefronts. The red lines are the normal. The blue lines are the reflected wavefronts. To, to represent I and R, you need the incoming wave direction. Did you at all draw the incoming wave direction or the reflected wave direction in this figure? Yes, sir. You didn't? No. So if the question did additionally ask that label the I and R, then you have to go through this process. But if it doesn't, you can directly go this one. If you, you, for many of you might feel like that, this is complicated. Well, mark my words, this is not complicated. This is looking complicated because I have drawn all the five lines. But if you understand the logic, how one of the lines come into existence, drawing five lines is not a big deal. If you understand the logic of how one of the line was constructed, drawing five lines is not a big deal. Bolo, pardon. Bolo. Sir, I have shown the I have shown different reflections over here. If the, this wave front is essentially falling over here, right? Yes, sir. So this wave front is also reflecting from this point at this instant. If I were to draw this, the reflection of this wavefront exclusively, that wavefront could have looked like this. And if I draw a normal from this point, these two angles are supposed to be equal. Yes, sir. That's why I copied over here. That in the same way, Incoming wave direction, I mean, I equals to R. In the same way, wavefronts will make equal angle with the normal as well. Or you can say they will make equal angle with the surface as well. If these two angles are equal, obviously these and this, these two angles are also equal. Yes, I mean, do the different drawing the helm. You might, you might feel like that a drawing will have to put in now. You are looking at this for the first time. This is a two mark drawing. Uh, this effort might not look at all worthy for two mark. Well, there is always injustice in society. So CIA is no, 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 no different. So it's a bit difficult drawing. I agree, but through practice, you have to be able to do this because you don't want to leave two marks unanswered in your paper. You might as well choose to draw, do this drawing after you finish your entire paper and come back and finish this drawing with ample amount of time so that you are not rushing through the process. That's perfectly okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. I appreciate that idea, but you have to know how to draw these figures perfectly. Examiner, tomorrow the JJ Nishkulor for base color mark the the observation by which the examiners are gonna mark you by. They are gonna first see whether all of these blue lines are parallel to each other or not. Then they are gonna see are they equidistant or not. If both of these two properties are right, you are gonna get two marks. Yes. Yes. Uh, Ashraful, follow. Sir. Sir. Hey, hey, follow. Listen, sir. Sir, uh, I didn't understand this second process, which you explained for the reflection part. We are drawing angles that the waveforms make with the normal. Or if you want, if or if you want, if you want, you can altogether skip drawing the normals as well. You can altogether skip the normals as well. Come to think of it, you can simply measure how much is this angle, and you can measure and you draw an equal angle over here, and you are you are getting the reflector wave front. You are skipping significant portion of the drawing in the second process. Because the idea that I'm trying to show you is that the angle that the incoming wavefronts will make with the surface would be exactly equal for the reflection angles on the other side as well. So at a certain incoming wavefront, surfaces shall jatutu angle produce korbe, reflection horror poro the angle tatu to be Yes, sir. Beautiful. 
Yes, Saf Shabat Razin. Sir, set square ta kya hamne use karte baare kar puchha hai? You will keep one of the perpendicular side aligned with your reference line, and then you're gonna slide your set square along that line, and use the other edge to draw normal from different points. Yes, sir. Ye wo ye set third and na fourth and fifth line ta kya hamne karo? Is it a question? I was saying we we have some centimeter lines. So on the on the on the set square body, centimeter lines are the longest line. The printed lines. If you have a set square, a two side, I am the centimeter centimeter level cross again, na? Yes, sir. So you can use one of those longer lines, which is a centimeter line. You can align it, align that centimeter line with the with the green line, and you can bring down the set square conveniently, so that you can put the edge on the on your reference point. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Or vice versa, if you don't want to use a set square over here for drawing these lines, for drawing these lines, you can also use a protractor. Protractor use as well proved to be even more useful. Let me show you how. Let me show you how. Want to go? Edo chhota mat protractor. Want to go? Edo edo chhota mat protractor. Protractor to boro hole halo hito. Acha shama shanai. And let's say uh, you are gonna uh, let's say want to go? You are gonna use your protractor. In this alignment, in this alignment, yes. So I'm gonna rub off this other part. And put it on mask. That an anterior line is, na? Put it on mask. That an anterior line is. Is it, na? Yes, sir. So my brother, just put it on mask. An anterior line. So you can take your protector, protractor, not protector, protractor, and you do this alignment, and then you can slowly slide by as well. ওই যে দেখো আমাদের প্রোডাক্টের এই প্রোডাক্টের এই बाउंड्रीটা এই সবগুলো পয়েন্টের উপর পড়তেছে এখানে এক লাখ একটা আর তো সরা এখানে এক লাখ একটা আর তো সরা এখানে এক লাখ একটা দিস গ্রিন লাইন ইজ सपोज टू बी अलाइन উইথ ইওর রিফ্লেক্টেড লাইন সো ইউ অ্যালাইন দা 90 ডিগ্রি লাইন উইথ ইওর রিফ্লেকশন এন্ড দেন ইউ ইউজ দা এজ টু ড্র ইওর ওয়েভ ফ্রন্ট রিফ্লেক্টেড ওয়েভ ফ্রন্ট ওটা দিও হতে পারে সেলস করতে যদি আপনি না চাও বুঝে গেছে স্যার হুম স্যার হোয়াট এভার ওয়ার্কস ফর ইউ What about that? You feel comfortable to for you to grasp. So that's about for the process of the drawing for the reflection part. And now uh, I'm gonna go for the discussion for the lake for the worksheet. Uh, let's see if we have some more worksheet problem that we can discuss, uh, which is unique, or else we can go for the other part. Don't think we've seen notes. Then I'm here. Can you see? Ah, not there. We've seen notes. Manai toh. प्रब्लेम People think a problem, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I would like to start the idea for the sound chapter. So uh, I'm rubbing or erasing all of this up. People think a problem also. What I mean, I mean, I mean, worry. People think a problem also, but I, I went to the worksheet. There is nothing as unique as this one, which which necessarily requires some attention. So I'll I'll now do the discussion of the sound chapter. Then we'll just dive into the worksheet. Then you can ask me questions from the worksheet as your as your convenience. Just sound target to pour any. टू 
the first picture we have the royal guards actually the royal royal band of i think uk that's what the head would tell me so they are doing some noise or they are doing some music what is the difference between music noise and music do you guys understand that how do you distinguish between noise and music noise, noise is noise is yeah. random music is an arrangement yes true absolutely true noise is random and music has a rhythm or repeatability or am jodi in layman's term boli noise is unpleasant or disturbing and music is pleasant yes sir that also works okay so eta gela ekta jinish er pore amader on page number 241 we have a view for how the vibration of the tuning fork produces the sound wave going back and forth eta ami tomaderke age shurur dike lecture kon eta lecture e bujhaisil ami animation koro dekhaisil am je tuning fork going back and forth so the compression is slowly moving forward and for a, for a longitudinal wave the gap between two consecutive compression or the gap between two consecutive rear fraction is called one wavelength so between 2c 1c to 1c is is this thing uh, and another thing that i would like to tell you is that one of the key information that you always need to remember always need to remember that longitudinal waves are those waves where that motion of the uh, air particles are parallel or you can say along the same line of the energy transfer slash wave direction am kotha ta abar boltechi longitudinal waves are those waves where the motion of the medium particles is along the same direction or you can say is along the same line of wave direction or you can say along the same line of energy transfer because wave direction essentially mean energy transfer so uh because of that in a practical scenario it is very difficult to draw a longitudinal wave because if you think of a sound wave which is the most common example for longitudinal wave that we that we actually experience uh if you want to actually draw a sound wave you have to draw the gradual compression and gradual rear fraction and then gradual compression tomake onek gulo different different layer rakhte hobe physically ebhabe layer mane uniformly layer aka mane manually aka khub difficult this is why in many cases we represent the sound with a sine curve which is basically the representation of a of a of a of a, of a transverse wave আমরা কিন্তু সাউন্ড ওয়েভ কেও সাউন্ড সাইন কার্ভের মতো আপ এন্ড ডাউন করে আকি আকি না यस স্যার হ্যাঁ বাট সাউন্ড ওয়েভস আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি নেভার লাইক দিস সাউন্ড ওয়েভস আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি নেভার লাইক দিস সাউন্ড ওয়েভস আর ড্রন ইন দ্যাট ফরম্যাট ফর आवर কনভিনিয়েন্স জাস্ট বাই লুকিং এট দ্য সাউন্ড ওয়েভ ইউ শুড নেভার ফিল কনফিউজ দ্যাট আ সাউন্ড ওয়েভ লুকস লাইক আ সাইন কার্ভ হুইচ ইজ হুইচ ইজ দ্য শেপ অফ আ ট্রান্সভার্স ওয়েভ দেন কুড ইট বি হ্যাপি কুড ইট বি পসিবল দ্যাট দ্য সাউন্ড ওয়েভ ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি আ ট্রান্সভার্স ওয়েভ ইজ ইট পসিবল The answer is a solid no. Sound wave is a longitudinal wave period, but for the sake of convenience of drawing, we show it as a sine sine wave. There is another logic to this. The other logic, I mean, if you want to talk about this, I'll take a washroom break. I really need to go to the washroom. Well, so the uh, four persons are going for a walk today.
I'm back. अच्छा, आमादे देखा ने सीनियर भाई बोन आमार कैसे पोर्स एलगम के क्या आसो? ऑपरेटिंग आसो, ऑडोमो आसो, आर क्यों आसो? आमी शी आसी। शरामी। एक काजिन। तुम्ही क्या? शरामी आसी। है ना? आमार बोन बाग पितू। अच्छा है, जो है ना बोलो बोन, जुबार जुबार तो है, आर होते हैं, आर अब्दुल्ला अब्दुल्ला � प्रसेसिंग I can try and arrange them together, but that's not gonna be pleasant for you to revise at any point. So, if any of you have access to your seniors, senior, 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 uh, senior uh, siblings, uh, class notes, and you are willing to share with me, I'd be highly obliged. Like, if that's a good incentive, or that works. Yeah, that's a good incentive. क्लसना मेथोडोलॉजी Uh, that works for every one of us. Ah, uh, cha. Yeah. So that is the one part that I was saying, and the, another reason. Ah, uh, so the part where I left for the workshop break is that. Ah, uh, we, we sometimes represent sound waves as ah uh, sine sine curve waves or sinusoidal shape. Ah, uh, but sound waves are actually never like this. But there is another reason. Reason I would say. The mechanism by which we detect sound wave, namely the first mechanism that you can think of is ear. the biological device that we have the second device is that the artificial device that we have created is called a microphone microphone can can convert sound energy into something else now come to think of it how does the sound essentially travel from one point to another point in the in in that atmosphere 
it produces a series of high pressure and low pressure regions compressions are the high pressure regions where the atmospheric molecules got squashed together and rarefactions are the low pressure regions where the atmospheric molecules are got further apart from each other this variation is not permanent continuously the high pressure regions and the low pressure regions are moving further away from the source as a result the sound energy is transfer is, is transferred uh, uh, away from the source so it produces a sequence of high pressure and low pressure the way any microphone works that there is some div some mechanism uh, i'm not good naming it there is some mechanism inside the microphone which which can detect that variation of atmospheric pressure and it can convert that change of pressure information that available information into relevant voltage and how does that work i'm not getting into that but it can do that that's how every microphone works even the microphone that i'm talking through every single microphone that you know they are made of some material which can sense that that variation of pressure and convert that that variation of atmospheric pressure into voltage so that way there is another so this is one of the ways by which we can actually uh, repress we can actually visualize I mean, you can actually see, how do you actually see a sound wave can you see a sound wave as it traveling through air is it possible no sir you, no. you can we cannot see air so there is no reason for us to see compressed air or 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 refracted air that's not going to work out so the way we could visualize sound wave is by using a cro Is it cathode ray something, sir? Yeah, cathode CRO is CRO is, yeah, cathode oscilloscope. So I mean, uh, monogram is a simple diagram. Look, hi. Acha, a very simple diagram. Bolta, I mean, a diagram like that. Hi. Take a second. Have a look at. Acha, hi. Diagram to like open image in here. So diagram is very small, but it will, it, will, it will work for me. The way this diagram is working, the way this diagram is working is that we have a loudspeaker over here, which is producing a sound of a single frequency. So they say like ah or pain or poo, a kind of sound. There is no variation. There is no quality. It's a pure pure single frequency sound so consider one one of the things at a time we have placed two microphones in front of the sound wave and these microphones will be able to perceive the variation of atmospheric pressure and convert them into voltages in this oscilloscope we have placed both of the wave produced by these two microphone uh, one on top of each other now try to see look at one of these things here you can see that in some case we have a high voltage then in some case we have a low voltage then high voltage and low voltage what is happening for the compression of the atmosphere they are representing the high voltage regions for the rare fraction of the atmosphere they represent the low pressure region or in other words i can tell you in other words i can tell you uh, uh, in it also variation i mean if you get that our ashbo but i mean alta figure to bole nahi then i mean abar if you get that our back go but don't worry about that What? The physics lesson, sir. Sir, monohai transformation to business. Sir, if you get that, you Already, shop should level kora sir. Should work for my purpose. Oops, oops, oops. Sir, if you believe, if you believe, I'm taking. Equilibrium is the the original position of the of the of the uh, atmosphere. So have a look over here. What is happening? This is this is a figure. This is actually a very good figure. Actually, I mean, why? I mean, high definition and a lot of information. Have a look. You don't have to be bothered about this expression of of the sine sine equation. Don't bother about that. Not applicable for your level. What they are showing you that whenever the sound is being produced, there is high pressure, low pressure, high pressure, low pressure, high pressure, low pressure. High pressure means compression. Low pressure means rarefaction. Now, if we plot a graph with respect to distance from the source position and further down, this horizontal axis in this case represents the atmospheric pressure. So, this horizontal horizontal level, this is 10 to the power 5 Pascal. What is 10 to the power 5 Pascal? 
basic yes, atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. Exactly. So which means if this loudspeaker did not work, or if the loudspeaker stops working, the all of these layers would become uniformly distributed, and you would have the entire medium at a fixed amount of pressure. But as long as the loudspeaker is making its vibration and making the sound, you will be having alternate regions of high pressure and low pressure. The variation of pressure. The variation of pressure goes like that. So you have a high pressure region that has a shape like a sinusoidal curve. Then the low pressure region has a gradual decrease of pressure. It has a lower curve and so on and so forth. So whenever this thing is low, is detected by the by the microphones, they give us the voltage variation on the on the cathode ray oscilloscope screen in this format. So the way the reason I'm telling you all of this stuff is to give you a visualization idea is that the way we can see sound wave is not by eye. We can see a sound wave by connect, by capturing the sound using a microphone and obviously calling, connecting that microphone to a cathode oscilloscope. What the microphone is, is purposed to do is to sense the pressure variation of the atmosphere and somehow within its, using its internal mechanism, convert that pressure variation into relevant voltage variation. And that voltage variation can be seen in the cathode oscilloscope. A conversion part two buja at Sigina. The yes, cathode sir. oscilloscope yes, was sir. originally designed to detect voltage differences and display them into a graph, right? Nah, to me, it to also. It is designed to detect any physical variable that could be translated into voltage. Oh. So, for example, in this case, we are doing this experiment using microphone. So, microphone would be where a microphone is the device that is used to detect the pressure variation. In the place of a microphone, you could use an LDR. LDR would be responsible to detect the variation of light intensity. In the in the in the case of a, in the place of an LDR, you could have also used a thermistor. Thermistor is a device that could be used to detect the variation of temperature. So you have to use individually different detecting mechanism, which can, which will detect the physical uh, physical uh, variable change, pressure change, or light intensity change, or temperature change. I mean, in the example, you said that. And that, that conversion mechanism should be able to convert that change into relevant voltage variation. And that voltage would be, would be that voltage variation would be represented by the oscilloscope screen. Yes, sir. Understood. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Sir, is it conversion to Gemini course? Take up the Buddhism. How does the microphone uh, converse that thing? No, no, like the longer you know waves glow, like a transverse wave cathode. No, no, I mean it's a actually. What I want you to remember and not get confused about is that in many cases we represent sound wave as sine curves, which might sometimes make the student think that if we represent the wave as a sine curve, it's supposed to be a transverse wave. Hmm. But that's not the case. Whenever we convert the pressure variation into voltage and represent them by a visual mechanism that appear to be like, be like a sine curve. But the sound wave is not a transverse wave. Sound wave is a longitudinal oh, wave. Okay. It's a longitudinal wave. But it, is, it can be represented as a sine curve variation if we consider the variation of pressure. pressure. That's why I came to this figure. Could I make sense? Hello? Yes, sir. Awesome. So, uh, <coughs> sorry. So that was the idea that I was saying. Uh, just because the, we have this figure, let me just tell you the idea of this one. What, what explain that they're trying to show you. <coughs> if we had, I figure taken an intact taku, can take a reference to my figure? Let me just take this figure on the right side <coughs> over here. Whenever we're doing this experiment, First of all, what they can do is that they will place the two microphone and thus at the same distance away from the speaker. So let's say the first microphone one is over here. Microphone two is also at the same position as microphone one. Let's say at the beginning, this thing was also located here on top of this one. Perfectly in, at the same distance from the source. This is the circuit. They are supposed to be corrected. I mean, auto jamala could paint act the So in that case, you would have the two 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 inputs exactly identical to each other. I mean, there would be no phase difference. 
Am I correct? Because the same compressions yeah, would reach to the microphone one and microphone two at the same time, same reaction would reach at the same time. So you're gonna detect the exactly identical wave. Now, if you slowly start to take the microphone two to the slightly to the right, then what's gonna happen? The compression is gonna be explained by microphone two first and then it's gonna reach microphone one, which means these two waves are not gonna be identical anymore. There'll be some slight difference in their phase. Slight difference in their phase in both Sir. That means I the should, microphone it, it, it the, phase will be... So, I mean, you should have a question. Nibo. question. The difference of the phase will be given to the microphone one air position of the microphone one air will be given to the same. However, microphone two in that case is deviating from this exact shape. So, I mean, I'm just going to let, why not I just copy this thing. When both of them, when both of them were, were in the same position, you had the exact same wave like this the moment you start moving the microphone to a little bit then the, the microphone to feed or microphone to line is going to be slightly shift away either on the left or on the right left or right part time because leading and lagging the syllabus and i you just assume that it's going to be having some shift because it's going to be detecting the compression and reflections at a slightly different time frame compared to the original microphone one do i make sense of that thing that as you slowly move the microphone to, whereas we are keeping the microphone one in its original place, the wave that we are seeing over here, that is going to start to move. Do we agree on this one? Yes, sir. So, sir, it is the original figure in there. Both is original figure in the hand. We are going to keep it, keep the microphone to moving away from the microphone one, and this wave is going to slowly move, 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 and move and move. Eventually, at one point, these two waves are once again become congruent. So they are once again appear to be like that. So this will be over here below. I have done a small piece of work. That's why you, you cannot make sense of it much, but get my point. Eventually at one point of move, uh, by moving, when I, this was initially like this, exactly identical like this. Okay. If this part starts to move, eventually at one point, this can move by one full cycle. One full cycle, this crest of the microphone to this one will can move exactly under this one. So whenever this will happen, we can say that this microphone two and microphone one are exactly one lambda apart. One lambda apart means whenever the microphone two is experiencing a compression, microphone one is also experiencing a compression, but not the same compression. This one is experiencing a compression. This one is experiencing the earlier compression, but that is happening at the same time instance. Then that compression passes by and reach to microphone one. The instance the microphone one experiences the same compression, the microphone two will experience the first compression. And these compressions are of the same magnitude. Yeah, these compressions are of the same magnitude. For the sake of simplicity, let's, let's assume they are of the same magnitude. Can magnitude same na thole amar kya amplitude dekhas korte hobe. For the time being, consider they are of the same magnitude. Let's assume that. So whenever we can, whenever we can make these two microphones at, I mean, the way this experiment is done, first these two microphones were placed exactly at the same location. They gave us the identical phase diagram for both of the waves. Then we kept one of the microphone in place and start moving the other microphone. And as a result, the, 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 that microphone which you are moving, that graph is going to start shifting. At a certain location, these two graphs would once again become exactly identical or they would look a similar phase. This is the location where we can say that these two microphones have a physical distance of how much? Exactly one lambda. Sakif, bolo, question bolo. Um, sir, actually question, uh, sir, like sir, my Class shuru abe kichu kono pordi economics. Ekono charbo na unar class shuru hile pordi charbo. Jen aage theke bolle rakho. Oh, sure, no problem. Yes. Oh, you can leave. Uh, eventually, just remember to see the remaining part of the lecture from the YouTube. If you have any question, you ask. Like remaining that. part, ki kora bhi nikto like. I'm gonna be continuing. I'm, I'm gonna be continuing this lecture. You, you can find out in the YouTube like, YouTube video what you did, what you are gonna miss. Okay, thank you, sir. Sure, no problem. Sir, odhir ki frequency same thakbe. Odhir shape bula same thakbe. <laughs> This is the microphone one is going to detect a sound, uh, detect a sine curve, uh, and microphone two is also going to detect a sine curve. But whenever we'll start moving, microphone two graph is going to start moving. But whenever we would reach to exit one wavelength gap, then these two waves would once again start to sync up. You uh, you get the idea very simple. You the act of act of sine curve, exactly 360 degree shift. Karo. That's exactly what I mean. Does this experiment make sense to all of us? Any question about this experiment? Yes, sir. Anyone? Any question? 
in this figure they are showing that the amplitudes are equal because they didn't want to discuss or incorporate the complexity of the amplitude variation but if i have to tell you the truth the farther you go away from the source the smaller your amplitude becomes because the sound becomes quieter ekta source theke tumi joto kache thakba tumi sound ta toto beshi volume e shunba the farther you get away from the source your volume becomes lower so in true case in a in a more appropriate figure this microphone one figure should be somewhat smaller or i could say the microphone two figure should be somewhat bigger on the vertical scale because microphone two is closer do you see that oh yeah that's supposed to be a more appropriate figure okay makes sense sir yes yes beautiful bolo sir tale ki amra bolte pari je microphone two the sound that is detected by microphone two is more pitch No, I mean, I can't pitch the idea. Go to the jane. You pitch the idea. Go to the parabo. When parabo, then you just easily clear. Hey, don't worry about that. Sir. Okay, sir. Pitch loudness and quality of the parabo. I took parabo. Ask this, ask this. Tell me. Well, first of all, uh, we can, uh, we can, uh, we, uh, well, well, couple of things we can get. This is a very good question. Any question? Like yours, Abdullah. Yes, sir. Acha. we can get a lot of information the way cathode oscilloscope works i mean for any cathode oscilloscope the default axis the axis definitions are on the y axis we have voltage on the x axis we have time this is a default cathode oscilloscope axis system it is and this will never change which means from this graph you can very easily find out how much is the time period for one one cycle if you go from crest to crest or if you observe from trough to trough or if you from let observe from one of the point to the another another full statistic point you can calculate the time period once you have the time period you can calculate the frequency so you can calculate the frequency by observing the time period from the oscilloscope screen by measuring this distance physically with a meter rule you can measure lambda if you do the product of these two things you get the speed of the sound wave yes sir does this idea make sense to every one of us wavelength that can माइक्रोफोन which means when the microphone 2 experiences uh, vibration number uh, let's say 5 then the microphone 1 will experience vibration number 3 if there is two wavelengths but if you have two wavelengths then also these two these two shapes can sync up because you have to understand that if you remove a sine curve by 360 degree you get the same shape if you move it by 720 degree shouldn't you get also the same shape yep that's what i'm saying yes sir so for every full length of multiple increment these two waves are going to sync up but then again the the discussion that i made for the volume or the amplitude the one that is closer should show you a higher amplitude the one that is significantly further away should show you a smaller amplitude but the positioning of the crest and the troughs that should be perfectly what aligned so sadman bokosha bolo yusuf स्क्रीन Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. No problem. Okay. No, from the nothing. screen, it's one nothing second. Sorry about. Huh? Hey? Sorry. In the screen, when it shows from, I mean, one crest to one graph, the time taken and okay, that is the time taken. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You, you just said it as slightly wrong. You said one crest to one graph. No. One crest sorry, to the sorry, next one crest. 
বুক ইন অন ইউর পেজ পেজ টু they are showing you a variation of the of, the, of that same uh, air pressure figure that i just talked about but they didn't they didn't bother over here to show you a gradual change of air, air, air compression and air friction the entire compression they represented by a by a more densely packed blue color and the entire air friction they represented a less densely packed uh, dot, dot 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 but that is not the actual scenario the con the variation of pressure is a continuous variable when each layer to lay that layer you have a different pressure it's not that all the higher pressure has the same compression same pressure at the same point so that figure uh, which is the which is vibrating diaphragm and then blue and white blue and white alternation that figure is not exactly accurate this figure on the other hand shows you this one je am lecture dekho zoom e dekho this figure on the other hand is a more appropriate representation at the compression regions you have really high stuffs at the refraction regions you have a you have low stuffs ফিজিক্যাল মিডিয়াম সো দিসমেন্ট ওয়ার্কস ইস দ্যাট ফার্স্ট দ্য বেলজার ইস ফিল আপ উইথ এয়ার we did not turn on the vacuum and using the completing the circuit which is which is to uh, label as two power supply in the figure we complete the circuit by connecting a power supply and uh, uh, we'll see that the striker or hammer will hit the gong and will will hear the sound initially the way that sound travel tra traveling can be described is that is that the ha uh, the hammer strikes the gong the gong vibrates vibration of gong is transferred to the uh, uh, through the air molecules inside the bell jar those air molecules are going to eventually uh, eventually vibrate the glass molecules of the bell jar sound that vibration is going to penetrate through the glass wall from the inner wall to the outer wall then the outer wall of the glass wall uh, uh, outer outer molecules of the glass wall are going to vibrate the atmosphere that is uh, the entire atmosphere the big atmosphere and that vibration will eventually reach up to our ear so what i'm trying to mean is that you are having continuous shift of energy from air through glass the through air one second and ultimately reaching to your ear so whenever there is a continuum of medium continuum mane hocche in any of the places there was no such case where a where a medium was a medium was not present as long as you have a continuous source of medium you can hear that sound now the next part of the experiment is that we're going to turn on the vacuum which is represented over here as a vacuum pump they, they are only showing a uh, pipe outlet but it is connected to a vacuum pump so you turn off the vacuum pump and slowly all the air is sucked out and whenever that would happen we'll hear that even though the we'll see that the hammer is striking the gong at the same speed the volume of the sound that you will be hearing will become slowly lower and lower and lower and eventually when the belger has become almost vacuum or let's say the pressure has dropped to a very low value at one point we would not be hearing the sound at all although we'll see that the hammer is continuously striking the gong at the same pace the reason is that whenever we are vacuuming it up the air that was present inside the bell jar has be has moved out so the gong is making its vibration but it cannot transfer its vibration to the air because air is not present so that's why you, the sound is not reaching to your reaching to your ear ear because that he who hence it is proved that sound cannot travel without a physical medium that's one simple experiment this is also applicable for case let's say the astronauts uh, whenever they are in outer space doing a, 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 a doing movies or uh, or missions or whatever so the astronauts whenever they are in the space they usually communicate using radio communication so they have some sort of uh, some sort of uh, um, electromagnetic wave radio communication so they can talk to each other very simply pretty much like we talk through a cell phone but in any case if this mechanism gets destroyed the only way two astronauts can talk to each other if they press their helmets against each other kotha aba boltesi if their radio communication system somehow get managed the only logical way that these two astronauts can still talk to each other is if they press their helmets against each others 
that way sound can travel from the vocal cord of, of one astronaut through the air inside his helmet then it will hit the glass of his helmet that vibration will be transferred to the glass of the other person's helmet and that vibration can be transferred to the air inside the other person's helmet and which can eventually reach to their ear so the point that i'm trying to make there should be a continuous of medium whenever the two helmets are pressed together that vibration can pass through because they are in contact but the moment they will detach from each other they cannot hear each other anymore Is the ball make sense? Yes. Uh, how efficient is that? It's very, very low efficient. It's yeah. not at all efficient. But I mean, this is a case where you have to communicate with your astronaut, with your, you know, with your second astronaut, but you don't have the radio communication means. Let's say somehow mm -hmm. that equipment got damaged or anything. You might as well come across to see this in, in some of the uh, movies that in a practical movies where the uh, director actually did care for scientific factors that that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Hello? Jump, jump to page number 246. Hey, everyone, jump to page number 246. 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 And jump to page number 246. Jump to page number we can still hear something, right? Because of the that kind of thing where passes through a cork. Cork is a pretty flexible or cushioning material that cannot transfer enough energy so that with the metallic, so that the electric circuit wires would give us enough vibration to reach the eye. One of the things that you need to understand that uh, we cannot hear. I mean, our ear is not designed to hear really quiet sounds. If you wonder, that is a perfect, uh, I mean, quiet sound is basically sort of like a, an oxymoron. Do you use an oxymoron? Oxymorons are opposite words which make good sense, like pretty ugly, completely empty, original copies, happily married. Okay, sir. What? Is it Belgian? Is it Belgian experimenter? Yes, yes, yes. Well, the answer to your question is yes, but would we be able to detect that difference by our biological ear? No. If you want to detect the difference of that we are getting the sound faster, you have to use some more precise equipment, preferably with a uh, cathode oscilloscope and everything. We wouldn't, I mean, we will hear the sound for earlier, but we wouldn't be able to tell the difference because that difference of, I mean, the, 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 the time difference between those two uh, hearing is not going to be more than 0 0.1 second. Now, if you wonder what does this 0 0.1 second means, uh, I'll discuss this in a bit. But did you get your question answered? Yes, sir. Beautiful. So come to a uh, super turn over to page number, page number 246. Uh, uh, all the things that is in between are pretty uh, much lit literature. So you can re I recommend that you read through it at least once. If you have any question, if anything appear to be ambiguous, you ask me about this, I'll help you, no big deal. Uh, uh, Yusuf, st stick, to, stick to the end of the class after I stop the recording, because I'm gonna answer your question that you play posted on the YouTube. Uh, so I'll, I'll take care of it. So uh, uh, figure 246 represents a very a good example that uh, to prove that sound actually does reflect and it obeys the law of reflection. The, the, the thing that we are doing that we are using two long pipes and placing a, placing a sound source uh, or, a, or a, let's say, or a uh, mechanical clock uh, in front of that source. And in between the ear, which is, which is definitely not a, a detached ear, it is definitely attached to your head that's supposed to happen. Uh, so in between the ear and that so source of the sound that is placed on the opening of the other tube, there we have placed a sound barrier in between, which is the vertical barrier that is labeled that wooden block to stop sound from the source traveling directly to the ear. So we're gonna have some sort of break, break uh, some sort of uh, uh, blocking mechanism uh, in there in that place. The idea of, the, of this entire experiment is that, I mean, whenever any source produces sound, sound travels outwards from that source readily radially so it goes in all three dimensional direction not only the horizontal not only vertical it goes in a three dimensional direction pretty much like the way sun gives out energy 
বুঝছো কি কথাটা সাউন্ড স্প্রেড আউট ইন অল ডিরেকশনস ইন ইন অল ডিরেকশন থ্রি থ্রি ডাইমেনশনাল ডিরেকশন নাও দ্য রিজন উই আর ইউজিং দ্য পাইপস ইজ দ্যাট দিস সাউন্ডস সো দ্যাট উই গোনা ইউজ ইন ফ্রন্ট অফ দ্য লেফট পাইপ ইন ফ্রন্ট অফ দ্য লেফট পাইপ ইজ গোনা বি আ প্রিটি লো লো সাউন্ড দিস ইজ গোনা বি দ্যাট কাইন্ড অফ এ লো সাউন্ড দ্যাট being on the other side i mean if you if you take away the pipes if you take away the pipes altogether uh, on the other side the ear shouldn't be able to hear any sound of that source that's why i said that, that this could be a, tick, a mechanical ticking clock so tick 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 sound korte ache erokom because digital clock e to kono sound nai ase bolo man do digital clocks make sound naturally alarm e kotha bolteche na digital clock kono sound nai similarly there are certain clocks which makes the second hand move continuously continuously second hand ta move korte thake ogula to kono sound hoy na but if you have a ticker or uh, click 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 that kind of sound it makes a small sound so we can we are going to use that kind of a sound source which is not so loud that it will make some sound if you get uh, if you get your ear close to that source but without the presence of the pipes you wouldn't be able to hear those sound on the other side of the barrier what is the purpose of the pipe the purpose of the pipe is that the pipes are going to capture the amount of energy coming out of that source and make it reflect within its internal boundary as a result the concentration of energy is going to be higher it is simply not allowing a significant portion of the energy coming out of the clock uh, clock uh, clock's vibration to be spread out it is it is uh, it is keeping those energy within the inside of the hollow pipe and that energy is going to go travel to straight through and eventually will hit the uh, reflection surface which for an experiment should be a hard surface not a soft surface like a sofa or cushion the reflection surface is uh, could be preferably a piece of metal it could be a flat piece of rock it could be it bottom line it has to be hard surface not a cushioning surface cushioning surface hole hobe na then the sound would reflect out and eventually to travel to the uh, second pipe and our ear can hear this one of the key interesting part of this thing is that if the, the ear can only hear the sound as long as the pipes are there the, if the pipes are removed the sound cannot be heard because most of the sound of the source got the, the distributed in the atmosphere whereas using the pipe we can reflect the sound wave and eventually we can get rid of, we can get a better reflection এক দুই নম্বর হচ্ছে ইফ দিস টু অ্যাঙ্গেলস দ্যাট ইজ লেভেল ইন দিস ফিগার আই এন্ড আর ডু সি দোজ অ্যাঙ্গেলস ইন দিস ফিগার देयर আর টু অ্যাঙ্গেলস আই এন্ড আর ডু ইউ সি দোজ লেভেলস ইয়েস স্যার एवरीवन রেসপন্ড মোবাইল হবে না কোথায় স্যার এই ফিগারে দুটো অ্যাঙ্গেল লেভেল করা আছে আই এন্ড আই আর ওই অ্যাঙ্গেল দুটো কোথায় আছে ভাই করো আইসো জিও সো व्हाट आई व्हाट आई नीड टू অবজার্ভ ইজ दैट the normal that is drawn is normal with the reflection surface normals will always be normal with surface not with the incoming wave and the angle that the incoming wave incoming sound wave makes with the normal is the incident angle i and then the and the angle that the reflected wave sound wave that makes with the normal is called the reflection angle r one of the second experiment second observation of this experiment is that if in any case this angle two angles i and r are not equal then also the sound cannot be heard by the ear For example, if I have value to me, the last chiller is 30 degree. Or the case I have value, the last chiller is 40 degree. You cannot hear the sound. You can only hear the sound as long as I and R are equal. So this also proves that the, the, that sound wave also follows the rule of reflection. Reflection is two rules. Chilo. The first rule of reflection is that I equals to R. Incident angle, incident angle equals to reflection angle. And the second rule is that the incident ray, the reflected ray. and the normal drawn on the plane they all lie in the same surface so uh, it has checked a proof er pore uh, on the next page uh, hocche amader page number 247 we have uh, essentially two experiments which is going to uh, which is going to be based upon the idea of echo that how can we use echo to do a lot of useful stuff using sound waves so how does echo help us for these purposes uh this is in this happens to be the i mean this next part that i'm about to dis discuss happens to be the most important bit of your sound chapter a lot of theoretical questions and mathematical calculations are based upon this topic that i'm going to discuss which i'm not going to discuss in today's class anymore because it's about time thank you sir thank i know you, sir. i know right you are best sir yes sir
लेक्चर Although it might not make all 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 the sense in your book, that's why I am here for. That's what I that's what I am here for. So you can ask me a lot of questions. Sir, who is going to answer? And or at the same time, when I'll start explaining at at points of my lecture, you would get certain questions uh, answered in your head. So you'll hear like cling. So that is like uh, bricks falling in the in the original place. So that is a much better and effective way to uh, grasp scientific ideas. so that if you can make uh, your, if you remember your problem and get a solution out or a solution of your problem from the lecture that that stays in the brain a bit longer so i would highly recommend that if you can manage some time which you should be able to manage if you are care careful please read some experiments from this book or from other books and so that we can uh, we can ask me questions uh, uh, in the next class so ask a class to porjonto i thank you everyone for your patience and we'll uh, i'll stop the recording uh we'll meet uh, once again in the next class for those of uh, 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 there is no definitive homework for today's class but the moment i uh, know uh, uh, when is your next class uh, sunday 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 aajke hocche friday shuno tomader choto dutar class boli tomar repel tank er je p1 p2 dute ache ei dute atom korba last er theke backward forward atom korte paro ba shuru theke backward shor shamne theke atom korte paro but i want you to attempt the worksheets of the repel tank or general waves name je worksheet ta ache oi ta mcq gula ektu try korba i'll help you sir should you mcq uh age mcq korba mcq korbo jodi shomoy manage korte paro tale p2 korba because whenever i'll solve i'll start i'll start solving the worksheets so first i'm going to go for the mcq paper and then i'm going to go for the paper to paper sir amar je amader je school er exam ache uh then uh, then uh, then within this uh, less than 24 48 hours if you can manage one hour time for the worksheet i'd be happy with it one hour tumi dui ta problem korte bolo amar problem nai but i dedicate one hour time for me if it's too okay. much if, if if it is not too much to ask okay sir i'll try my best thank you everyone i love you all uh, the class uh, is being uh, dismissed uh, but i'll be here uh, let me just stop the recording correct question